Did you watch Big Mouth and get stressed out trying to figure out who Big Mouse is? I feel you. The pain was real, and Lee Jong Suk's comeback drama did in fact expand his fan base. Not many actors were able to make a comeback the way Lee Jong Suk did. In the recent past, there were numerous actors who failed in almost all the dramas they did after their military days. But exceptional Lee Jong Suk created a lot of buzz with the new drama. Who is this cute looking guy with manolid eyes? Lee Jong Suk was born on September 14, 1989, as the eldest of three siblings. He has one younger sister and a younger brother. We know Lee Jong Suk as one of the most successful Korean actors. But he stepped into many fields before ending up as an actor. At the age of 15, he debuted as a runaway model. And he was the youngest ever to participate in Seoul Fashion Week. Lee Jong Suk participated in numerous fashion shows, and his first ever appearance in front of our camera was for the 2005 movie Sympathy. If you are a 2NE1 fan, you definitely should be familiar with the I Don't Care music video. Did you find Lee Jong Suk in it? Yes, that's Lee Jong Suk in the music video. Lee Jong Suk's dream was to be an actor. Even though how successful he was as a runaway model, he wanted to pursue his dream. So he ended up joining one of the most popular entertainment agencies as they promised to make him an actor. But this particular company nearly ended up making him an idol. Guess what the big company is? It's none other than it's SM Entertainment. Since things didn't turn out the way he wanted, Lee Jong Suk left SM after three months of training. However, he managed to land a supporting role in the 2010 rom-com Prosecutor Princess. And his next project, even though he played a minor role, made his face popular around the world. Remember the young and cold musician from The Secret Garden? The handsome yet cold character played by Lee Jong Suk grabbed the hearts of many girls back in the day. Finally, Lee Jong Suk landed his first lead role in the drama school 2013 and 2012. Ever since school 2013, Lee Jong Suk's career has been moving upstream. And what is noteworthy is that almost all the dramas in which he appeared did really well both in South Korea and internationally. Talk to Stranger Doubler, while he was sleeping, all of these dramas are extremely famous. I don't think there is any K-drama fan who hasn't watched them. But did you know this shining star is actually scared of crowds? In reality, Lee Jong Suk freaks out when he gets attention from people. When he's in front of a camera, he feels fine. But whenever he has to face a crowd directly, it's game over. To overcome this issue, he became an MC for SBS in Kagayo, but it really didn't help much. If you take a closer look at Lee Jong Suk's behavior among crowds, you might notice how weird he acts. His scopophobia was so strong that when he was awarded the grand prize, they sang for his performance in the hit drama W, Lee Jong Suk was so nervous that he couldn't deliver the acceptance speech. At press conferences, he sweats a lot, turns red like a tomato, and tries to calm himself by clinging to fellow artists. And things really turned out bad when his reaction towards a fan turned out to be a scandal. Back in 2014, a fan approached Lee Jong Suk to give him a gift at the airport. But flustered by the stranger, he quickly stepped away, and the manager literally pushed the fan away. This led to the biggest scandal surrounding Lee Jong Suk, forcing him to publicly discuss his phobia. Lee Jong Suk began his mandatory military service on March 8, 2019. But he was excluded from active military service and had to work as a public service officer. This was because at the age of 16, Lee Jong Suk faced an accident that badly injured his knee. Finally, he was discharged on 2 January 2021 but was not in a hurry to make a comeback. His first gig following his comeback reminded him of his beginnings. He took part in several pictorials and surprised us with his appearance at the 2021 Seoul Fashion Week. The long hair indeed gave a different vibe, which was indeed good. We saw Lee Jung Suk's cameo in The Witch, part two. The other one, but the movie was not what we expected it to be. Let us know what you think of the movie and the character of Jang, played by Lee Jong Suk. It took him nearly a year and a half after his military discharge to make a clean comeback. And the comeback drama obviously created a huge buzz. Lee Jong Suk's comeback drama Big Mouth 
aired on the 29th of July 2022 on NBC. Actually, 2022 was not a good year for NBC because none of the dramas aired on the channel did well in the ratings. But Big Mouth changed the game. When it was airing, Big Mouth secured the title of most buzzworthy drama, and in the main cast, both Lee Jong Suk and Yuna dominated the list of most buzzworthy drama cast members. Big Mouth is one of the most successful dramas in 2022. And now it's available on Disney Plus. So if you have not watched it yet, you are not late to catch up. However, do not try to guess who the Big Mouse is. You'll stress yourself out if you do this. Lee Jong Suk's latest project, Decibel, is releasing the 16th. You can see the terrorist Lee Jong Suk in this. Being our versatile actor who is up for challenges, this is not the first time he tried something new. If you are ready to witness some blood baths and immense suffering, I suggest you check out Lee Jong Suk's movie VIP. He plays the role of our rapist and our murderer and ends up traumatizing us, the viewers. It is unbelievable how he does the despicable stuff he does with that angelic face. Also, I suggest you watch Doctor Stranger, in which Lee Jong Suk plays the role of a genius doctor who flew from North to South Korea. The character undergoes a whirlwind of emotions, and Lee Jong Suk made extra effort to make shots more accurate. Being a perfectionist, he wanted to accurately express his emotions just by his expressions. And by the end of the drama, Viewers were astonished at how well he showed the emotions of Park Hoon without speaking a single word. Throughout the successful career of Lee Jong Suk, hasn't he faced any tragedies? He was accused of having star disease, but later this phobia came to light. And there are several instances that Lee Jong Suk was under the radar of Dispatch. In 2015, Dispatch reported that Lee Jong Suk is dating Pinocchio co star Park Shin Hae since four months. Both parties denied it and today Park Shin Hae is happily married. Then again, in 2019, News has released an exclusive report claiming that Lee Jong Suk and Kwon Nara were dating. This was while Lee Jong Suk was still serving the military. The claim was denied by their agency, A Man Project. But the claim really did make sense. Lee Jong Suk created his own agency in 2018. According to Newses, Lee Jong Suk the CEO of Iman Project, put a lot of effort into recruiting Kwon Nara into his agency. Finally, Kwon Nara left her longtime agency and joined Iman Project. This story was further fueled by the food trucks sent to a Taiwan class filming set. It was sent from the cafe owned by Lee Jong Suk, which is now closed down. And let's have a look at the decor or the truck. Does it simply look like your agency sent it? Terminating his contract with Loiji Entertainment Lee Jong Suk opened his own agency, Iman Project, in April 2018. It initially partnered with his former agency, Wine K Entertainment, but soon went solo. Kwon Nara joined the company in June 2019, and Iman Project manages a couple of other aspiring young artists as well. It seemed that the company was growing, but our young CEO, Lee Jong Suk, had issues managing it. So on April 20, 2022, the I-Man project signed our strategic agreement with History, T and C, the company that manages actors such as Song Jong-ki and Kim Ji-won. All these years, Lee Jong-suk has been rising above and beyond, and there have not been many noteworthy controversies surrounding him, as he has always shown us some charismatic performances. We are looking forward to the same in his upcoming movie, Tessebel. While wishing Lee Jong Suk all the best for his future projects, let's celebrate hitting 100 subscribers. We're excited that our videos are being shared and watched, and that other people enjoy Korean culture as much as we do. Let's see how fast we can get 500 subscribers with your love and support. Let us know in the comment down below your favorite Lee Jong Suk movie or drama. And as always, like and subscribe for more Keep Up With Korea. You can never know that, no, 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 no.